Express Van Postman Pat Postman Pat's speedy delivery van, known as the Express Van, holds the title of being the fastest Postman Pat van ever. Back on August 30, 2012, it participated in a drag racing event held at York Raceway in East Riding of Yorkshire. Ugh. During the race, this van blazed through the quarter-mile track in just 17.5 seconds, reaching a top speed of 84.28 miles per hour. This achievement didn't go unnoticed, especially among viewers in the UK. Originally, the van's body belonged to a coin-operated ride from the 1980s. It was purchased for £340 on eBay by creators Tom Armitage and David Taylor, who then set out to modify it extensively. Their hard work paid off as they transformed the van into a speed demon. The project spanned two years and involved various modifications. The finished model now boasts a racing wheelbase, sleek tires, and is powered by a 30 cubic inch four-stroke engine. Chainlink Extreme 4x4 Imagine a rugged off-road vehicle that can conquer even the wildest obstacles. That's exactly what you're looking at on your screen. The Chainlink Extreme 4x4. The standout feature of this vehicle is its incredible articulated independent suspension. It's so advanced that it can lift its front tire over 7 feet into the air. But wait, there's more! By adjusting the swing arms, the driver can alter the car's wheelbase from 80 to 120 inches. Under the hood, this beast is powered by a 5.0 Mustang A0 Cobra engine, pumping out 240 horsepower. It's paired with a Citroen C4 transmission and a Dana 20 transfer case for maximum performance. To make room for all this power, the gearbox had to be scaled down twice in size. And if that wasn't enough, the ground clearance can be adjusted by tweaking the suspension. Zil 130 In 2016, a Russian car enthusiast from the Blogger Academy named Guy set out on an ambitious mission to make a multi-ton truck reach a speed of 62 miles per hour in just 5 seconds. His chosen vehicle for this challenge was a 1986 Soviet Zil 130, known for its robustness with a payload capacity of 6 tons and an engine output of 150 horsepower. However, achieving this goal required significant modifications to the truck. To meet the speed requirement, replace the original engine with a powerful 4.4-liter BAMU X5 and turbo engine, boosting the horsepower to 600. Installing such a large engine into the ZIL 130 was no easy feat due to its size. The gearbox also needed upgrading as the original one couldn't handle the high revolutions of the new engine. The upgraded ZIL 130 received a new automatic gearbox and suspension to cope with the increased power. Interestingly, despite these major changes, the truck's exterior remained largely unchanged. Specialists worked to preserve as many original details as possible to maintain its distinctive appearance. The most surprising aspect of this project was that the truck managed to achieve the desired speed of 62 miles per hour in precisely 5 seconds, surpassing expectations and leaving everyone amazed. Hydrostatic Twin Turbo Diesel Motorcycle Let's talk about a fascinating creation from Sam Turner's workshop in the user. A custom-built motorcycle that runs on diesel, has twin turbochargers, and features an all-wheel drive system powered by hydraulics. Sam started with a Yamaha 51 cubic inch diesel engine and added two Web 31 turbochargers along with an intercooler borrowed from a Suzuki Swift to ensure enough air supply for the engine. Originally, Sam planned to use this diesel engine as part of a diesel-electric power unit, where it would power a generator to drive each wheel. However, this setup turned out to be too costly, so Sam shifted his focus to hydraulics. Instead, hydraulic motors now drive the wheels, controlled by pumps. This setup made the motorcycle quite heavy, so Sam developed a special suspension system for it. This suspension includes several airbags with automatic leveling and adjustable shock absorbers to handle the weight and provide stability. Volkswagen Dune Buggy Let's talk about the Volkswagen Dune Buggy, a unique custom car project by Theon Partition, 
a car mechanic from the user. To create this dune buggy, Thean started with the chassis of a 1973 Volkswagen Beetle. He cut and shortened it by 22 inches, then welded a protective metal cage onto the chassis. This cage provided safety while keeping the structure as open as possible. Additionally, he attached a windshield and some protective panels to the top. Building the dune buggy was like putting together a construction set, using various parts from different vehicles. For instance, Theon used a battery from a Toyota Prius and rebuilt the engine multiple times until it reached a volume of 98 cubic inches. One of the challenges Theon faced was finding a windshield that would fit perfectly with the curve of the safety cage. After some consideration, he decided on a windshield from a Toyota Previa, which he trimmed to fit properly. Despite the challenges, assembling the minicar didn't take much time overall. Thanks to Theon's skills and creativity, the Volkswagen Dune Buggy became a unique and exciting project. Tall Twin Bike Let's talk about the Tall Twin Bike, a unique bicycle that's not for those afraid of heights. Imagine riding a bike where the seat is about 7 feet off the ground. But don't worry, if that's too high for you, there's another seat a bit lower down. This unusual bike was built in Paris, but the idea isn't new. The first bike of this kind was built in England way back in 1895. There were even attempts to create similar bikes in 1915, so while the tall twin bike might seem modern, its concept has been around for quite a while. High-speed all-terrain vehicle The tracks for this vehicle were taken from a Buren snowmobile, but they had to be cut in half to fit properly. The gearbox comes from a Soviet cargo scooter called the Murave. Under the hood, it's powered by a 15 cubic inch engine from a motocross bike, giving it 20 horsepower. It's a manual transmission vehicle with rear wheel drive. According to the creator, this vehicle can reach a top speed of 50 km per hour. The journey of building this vehicle started at the end of 2016, with parts being collected. Construction officially began in May 2017, and after almost a year, the vehicle was ready for its first ride in April 2018.